In this video we're going to see how to use Cloud9 to do some Python programming. Um, it's going to be quite quick just going through some slides just to make things a little bit simpler for you. You want to go to this website here which is HTTPS um, and it's C9.io and that's where we do everything um, from for the rest of the video. Again I will go quite quickly and um, of course you can um, pause the video and go back and do everything that's required. Okay, so let's look how we can use Cloud9 to create a, an environment that we can program Python in. So what I've done here is I've gone into the Cloud9 website. You don't have to put this question mark redirect, but it's c9.io and it gets you um, here. And then you just need to sign up with your email address. It's completely free and you get uh, this kind of thing going um, on here. Now I'm actually in already. So once you've signed up and you go to your dashboard, you get something like this. You won't have this, you'll just have one of these. You can make these workspaces, which are little programs, any one you like. Now I'm going to create a workspace. This is what I want you to do. And then you're going to give it a project name. I'm just going to call it Python. And then you've got to select one of these you want. Now Python's actually built into all of them, so you can pick any, but um, I'll click on Python anyway. We'll be doing Django in another tutorial later on. But anyway, let's create our workspace and there it is it's in there it's basically given space on a machine that's held on a server and then we've just got to wait to go through this bit and it's normally a bit quicker than this but we're not too concerned there we go and we've got um, our space to deal with here now there's all these files that are included to start off with and um, I don't want any of those I'm going to right click on there I'm going to delete the lots uh, let's get rid of that readme and essentially we're going to use this bit here and all I want to do is I want to type python3 because we want to use python3 and there we go I can start programming in python straight away um, we can use this as a whole IDE I can save files in here that I'm going to use later on that's it I hope you found the video helpful thanks for watching and remember to subscribe Stay in infield with Winfield.